I'm actually not too excited about today's video. Unfortunately, I have a DIY video for you today, but it's not for something fun. It's not for something good. So I'm gonna show you how to fix a nail in your tire. What you're looking at right now is the front passenger tire. And if I zoom in here, you can see very nicely this big fat nail. And this is unfortunately part of what comes with living in a newer neighborhood when construction is still going on. These nails are everywhere. First thing I'm gonna do is squirt a little bit of degreaser on here to see if it's holding air. And as you can see, there's no bubbles coming out of it. So that means that it's holding air as it's sitting. That doesn't mean we can't fix this, which we're gonna have to do, but it just means that uh, air is not coming out actively. So once I pull this nail out, I'm gonna have to plug it pretty quick and then we're gonna have to refill this thing with air. Now, before I go any further, I do wanna clarify that it is always better, always safer to just replace the tire than it is to plug it. A lot of places don't even plug tires anymore. They don't even do repairs, but this one's in the middle of the tread, which means it can be plugged even though the industry's kind of moving away from that. Now, when you do replace tires on an all-wheel drive car, just like these Teslas, it's very important to understand how old is this tire because you do not want different treads on both sides of the car, at least on each axle. So if I was gonna have to replace this at 15,000 miles, I would need to replace both tires. So something really important to know about all-wheel drive systems, um, that minute difference in tire diameter because of the tread can create issues down the road. I know it sounds so minimal, but it can happen. So anyways, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull this nail out and I'm going to plug this hole and show you how to do that. I'm not saying you should do this. I'm not recommending you do what I do. This is just how I'm gonna deal with this particular hole. And if it's something you're interested in checking out yourself, I'll leave a link in the description for what you're gonna need. So as you probably could notice earlier, I've got the old aero covers on here. And the reason for that is because we're getting ready to go on a pretty big road trip and efficiency is going to be key on this particular one. More on that later, but I don't wanna spoil that surprise. So it just so happens that because of this road trip, I just recently got this kit right here that you can see, and this is a basic tire repair kit. Inside of this kit, you will see all the items that you're gonna to need to be able to plug a nail hole. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this tool right here and you are going to basically move this in and out of the hole just to clean it up and then you're going to take these little pieces this is the plug and you're going to attach it to this part you're gonna stick it in and you're gonna rip it out it sounds much more complicated than it actually is it's not hard to do this what we got to do first is we've got to take one of these out and basically the idea is get this prepped before you pull that nail out so that way you can get this pushed in almost immediately after you pull the actual nail out. So everything needs to be ready to go. So we're gonna take one of these and we're going to also open the lubricant provided. We're going to take this reaming tool and kind of coat it a little bit. And this eye opening here is what you're gonna actually slide this into. So it's gonna take a little bit of work to get it through started, but it pulls through pretty easy once it's in. So just pull that through until it's about halfway. So there we go, we got halfway roughly on both sides and this is pretty much ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit more lubricant on this. Now that we've got that ready to go, we're just gonna take some needle nose pliers and we're going to carefully extract this nail. And uh, it's kind of in a tougher spot, but these aren't too hard to get out. And you'll probably, see it's so small that may not have even punctured. So let's take a look here. Yeah, it, there's a small, very, very small hole. So this one's actually going to be a challenge because the hole is so small and getting this in is going to be a little bit of work, but uh, we'll get it in there. So just keep on working it back and forth. Okay. 
heavy. Get the plug in there. Now that we got the plug in there, we're gonna hold this and yank it out. And there you go. Now that plug is in there, and back in the day we didn't use to cut these off, but go ahead and trim off the excess. And while you're driving down the road, it'll take care of the rest for you just from driving. As it just so happens, I've also got a nail in our Model Y, which is crazy. I came to add some air to this tire, so I knew something was probably wrong. Sure enough, I got a nail in this tire too. But the good thing is we are in the treads here. If we are on a little bit farther out, that would not be good. Some places would say, don't patch this, but I'm gonna patch this. This will be fine for me. Um, so yeah, let's get this one patched too. All right, so I've got my plug ready to go. All my tools, get to the side, let's get this nail out. There we go. All right, so that's it. Uh, like I said, you can trim this off or let it rub off on the road. Another tire patched. This sounds extremely basic, but do not forget to pick up this nail and dispose of it where you won't drive right back over it after you did all this work. So get that thrown away. A little bit of a closer shot for you. That's what the plug is gonna look like. There's nothing pretty about it, but they do work pretty well. They've been used for a very long time, but again, always safer to just replace the tires And I'm not telling you to do this if you have a nail in your tire. But if you want to, this is the kit that I happen to get. This particular one is nice because the reaming tool is pretty good. And if you're not familiar with how to do this, um, having a stop right here to know how deep to push that in and how far and how hard to pull it back out i guess that is kind of nice uh, to have and it's got three sheets of five so 15 plugs for you so that's way more than enough but this is just something to keep in the car and that's basically it so highly recommend having this kit just in case you are somewhere on a sunday or there's no shops around you this is a quick way to patch a tire at least to get you to where you need to go or if you're like me, it's probably going to be more long-term solution for this particular issue. Again, this is a bead tool. I have a link in the description. It was not very expensive, 20 or 25 bucks, something like that. So this will stay in the glove box. And every time we go on a road trip, we'll make sure whatever car we're driving has this kit with it. So I hope that this video was helpful for those of you who have been in this situation and weren't quite sure what to do. So hopefully this was helpful.